cash rules you everything the around joint. me. Cream, get the here money. We, here we dollar, go. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. I do believe our diversity is our greatest strength, arguably uh, the greatest contributor to our economy. Mr. Secretary, do you believe that representation matters in American politics and imagery? I'm sorry, what's the last part? American politics and, and imagery. Do you believe that representation matters in American politics and imagery? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad we agree. A few years ago, Secretary Liu put out a call to the American people soliciting feedback on ways to modernize our nation's currency. On April 2016, or in April 2016, following long-time organizing efforts from several grassroots organizations, he announced a currency redesign overhaul that would more accurately reflect the diversity of our society. The American people understood the importance of representation on the bank notes of the world's most powerful economy. Representation that acknowledged our history and all those who have contributed. Mr. Secretary, yes or no, do you believe people other than white men have greatly contributed to this country and its history? Yes. Great. After 10 months um, of soliciting and analyzing responses, Secretary Liu announced that Harriet Tubman would be featured on the front of the new $20 bill. Uh, as it stands uh, currently, our currency does not reflect the diversity of individuals that have contributed uh, to our great American history. Uh, he followed the announcement by directing the Bureau of Engraving and Printing to accelerate plans for the redesign, so the final design concepts would be unveiled in 2020 the 100-year anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote, which we celebrated yesterday. As you know, 2020 is only one year away, and since um, Secretary Liu's departure, we have not heard anything regarding the status of the seat. Will the 2020 deadline... So, let We've looked at redesigning currency for counterfeiting issues. Uh, based upon this, the $20 bill will now not come out until 2028. The $10 dollars bill will come out with new features beforehand. So the answer is, it is my responsibility now to focus on what is the uh, issue of counterfeiting and the security features. The ultimate decision on the redesign will most likely be another secretary's down the road. I'm sorry, I just want to be clear for the for the record. Um, so you're not, so yes or no, will you meet what was originally the 2020 redesign deadline? Yes or no? Okay. Again, to be clear, the redesign that we so are that focused is a no. on at 20, no, we meet the security feature redesign in 2020. The imagery feature will not be an issue that comes most likely in 2026. And I'm just wondering if you could explain that to me, because after an exhaustive uh, community process, where people who organized for quite some time, and you said you, you do share my, my sentiments and opinion that our currency should be more reflective of the contributions and the diversity of the contributions. Um, okay. And so, what the delay? No, I didn't say the currency should be reflective. Well, you said imagery. I said, I, I said imagery, not referring to okay, currency. Okay, so do you believe that, things. do you support Harriet Tubman being on the $20 bill? I've made no decision as it relates to that, and that decision won't be made, in, in, in as I said, But there was a community process. There was a national, there was a, a, a community process. Okay, I, I think we heard enough. I think we understand what's going on here. All right, so so let's just peep game real quick. This is another interesting topic that, that it, it, I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised when I when I see some of y'all um, that act like you're about something that obviously you're really not or to act like that you have some type of consciousness or some type of understanding or, or, or some type of, you know what I'm saying, love or um, um, desire of progress. And then when I see y'all say some sloppy ass shit or you go against the grain, I don't know why I'm steadily surprised by y'all Negroes. I mean, I really shouldn't be. It's, uh, maybe I'm thrown off by some of these fancy ass names and some of these posts that y'all act like, you know what I'm saying, you're about something that you're not. Let me just break this down for you, man. Let's just keep it very simple, very clear. Look, forever in this country, when it came to currency, the only images that we have had has been slave masters. Those who have owned our people as property. I would say dead presidents, but not everybody on the currency are presidents. But everybody on the currency are actual slave owners, ex-slave owners. So it's interesting to me that when the time came 
that one of the slave masters was going to be replaced by an ex-slave who not only freed herself but freed others not only freed others but also participated in the war which allowed us to free ourselves y'all did not want some of y'all did not want harriet tubman to be elevated to the status of in god we trust like you don't want the process to start because that's what it is it's a process if what we say is true and if what you say you believe is true which is our time is now our time is coming to forge a year jubilee now it's time for us to whoop de whoop if you believe in that then you would have to understand it would i would think that part of that process is going to naturally be our people rising to different positions that's what the Barack Obama should have indicated regardless if he actually did tangible things what you should have seen from that is that look during this process we're gonna start at least start seeing different what did she say imagery because it was imagery that had our people think in a certain way it was the imagery of the white Jesus that made us believe for generations that they are God it was that imagery that helped to maintain a slave state of mind for generations and that continues to today. So if you don't understand now the importance of imagery when it benefits us, then what the hell were you talking about when you were saying this white Jesus is bad imagery? Some of y'all would actually rather, you don't want to see this black woman elevated. To the realm of God trust but guess what now you don't have to worry about it I guess they must have heard some of y'all Negroes because now they found a way to renege on the ship this is very interesting to me because y'all the same cats that be speaking all this fly shit all day or oh, we need to teach our children this and that and we need to show them images of this and that and, but then when it comes down to some real shit the slave ass bitch in you comes out that bitch ass slave mentality comes, oh no, no, she wouldn't want to be used for snorting coke and tipping strippers. Look, if people are using the money to do that, then whatever. What that got to do with the fact that someone who deserves to be elevated is being elevated? Just because you doing ratchet shit with your money, all of a sudden Harriet Tubman shouldn't be on that? So you, you'd rather it be that slave cracker that you're tipping stripper bitches with and sniffing coke with I, I'd rather strip I'd rather tip a stripper and sniff coke with Harriet Tubman if that's what I'm gonna do with my money cut it out I mean it's the same kind of thing that happened when Black Panther came out yeah we know it's not a perfect movie yeah we know that there's some fugazi in there but what about the imagery we've been complaining about the imagery for how long so then we're gonna complain when the imagery starts to favor us that means that you don't really understand how progress works. Ain't nothing gonna happen just overnight. These are subliminal, subtle, different changes that if you don't know how to use those subtle changes in that imagery for proper influence and progressive influence, then what the hell are you complaining about a white Jesus for then? What the hell are you going ham on these cats that still are Christians and believe in slave master religions for? How, how, how are you understanding that, but then you can't understand the significance of, of, of in God we trust. This is something that we all strive for. We work hard every day to make this money. We look at these bills and we see old ass white crackers who used to own, torture, experiment with, sell, hang, mutilate our people and this is what we're seeing on our money this we're striving for dollar bills that represent the worst atrocity ever to our people do you think jewish people would be upset if a prominent jewish man was on a german dollar bill instead of hitler you think they'd be complaining it's only us who complain about stuff that should be benefiting us and then turn around and act like you're about the best interests of our people. Cut it out. Cut it out, man. See, some of these things that are happening, it's going to start, like I said, it's going to start separating. We're going to really see who really has understanding 
if you can't put your petty difference to the side and you can't recognize what's actually in the best interest of progression for our people. So no, Harriet Tubman being on a dollar bill is not gonna change the world. But damn it, do you have babies? Would you rather give them a $20 bill that has somebody that represents them? Would you rather give them a $20 bill where somebody is being acknowledged that actually did contributions for our people to reinforce that? Obviously not. I didn't want to make this too long. I was going to read this, but you already seen what it is. Watch some more of the video. Uh, again, it's a decision of the Secretary of the Treasury. Right now, my decision is focused on security See, so, features. So here's well, let me just thing. you know say this. Um, the occupant of the White House... Let me just say this. Because as you can see, as a sister right here, she's advocating for it. You know, she understands the importance of it. And she's grilling this dude. And this dude is trying to, you know, he he, he doesn't want to say if, if he supports Harriet being on the bill and this and that. Because this is his sentiment. I can understand when this thing came out for Harriet to be on the bill. It was something that it was a movement that was done by black people on the low. Some of them in government, some of whatever. You know what Trump said about it. He, he wanted to put on a $2 bill, if anything. So your sentiments are right in line. Like like anytime your sentiments are in line with those who, who, who don't like us, you should really cons reconsider your position on things. Because there's a reason why they don't want to see Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. There's a reason why they don't want to see Harriet Tubman replace Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, the same one who led three wars in Florida, against our people, these are the Seminole Wars, the Gullah Geechee Wars. There's a reason why they don't wanna see their great ancestor, as they would call him, replaced by a woman, a black woman, who did them in. Because if you really wanna know one of the key things to why that Civil War was lost, why the rebels lost that civil war and why uh, the North and the blacks who participated lost that, won that civil war, it was because of people like Harriet Tubman. But she did to contribute to the victory in the civil war, y'all might not know. She was instrumental, not just in allowing black soldiers to fight, but in her actual role. But y'all don't want to give her the credit due. Y'all don't want to start to see this money start to be replaced by people that look like us. Yeah, I know we need our own currency and all this now. I know. Okay, but until then, can we at least start revolutionizing and changing up some of these images that we see? Y'all wanted these statues to come down, these Confederate statues to come down because of that imagery. You want some of these streets to be replaced. You want some of these monuments to be taken down. But something that you see every single day, you want to leave that.